Hello there and welcome to Crafting Unedited. My name is Sierra and today I'm going to show you how to convert any SVG or, or any PNG or SVG or whatever it might be to an SVG file so that you can use it in Cricut Design Space or whatever other software that you're using to create. So, um, just a couple of things. First, you're going to want to open an image, whatever type of image you're going to want. Um, can be whatever you like. Then, <coughs> excuse me, you're going to want to have this website open. Um, it is not the right site. Ignore that. It's PNG to SVG free. I got it backwards for some reason. PNG to SVG online image vectorizer for free. Meaning no charge to you. And then you're going to want to have your design space open and on to a new project new project. Mine was being weird and then it said it needed to update so there's that. Alright and then I'm just gonna I'm gonna make this taller. There we go. There we go. Alright so I'm gonna go over to my image here over in Pinterest and I'm just going to save image as I can buy this image but because I'm only using it for myself I'm not going to. Okay, so I've got that right there. It's down here at the bottom. I'm using a Mac, so if you're using a Mac, this is the steps that you would take. If you're using Windows, same steps. Um, you would just have to, it should still be in the bottom there. So you're going to scroll down, and it tells you exactly right here how to do it. But I'm going to help you out. And then you're going to take this, drag, and drop it right there. And it's going to pop up down here. And you can simplify it. See where it says up here. It says set the simplify option to smoothen your output. And that just means that you don't get any like um, a massive blank. <laughs> it's so that you don't get any like weird pieces. What is the word I'm looking for? Oi, oi, oi. I'm going to simplify it a couple of times. It's just to smoothen it out so that it doesn't end up so jagged and wonky looking. So we're going to take this, and it's this color. This is going to be white. <clears throat> this one is going to be black. And in reality, that is the only colors that there should be on mine. So if you see other colors on here that shouldn't really be here, um, <clears throat> just go back over those extra areas. And now you see that the only colors here are the ones that should be here. All right. And then I simplified it to six. I mean, it probably needs a little more. I'm not sure. But we'll see. Oh, I want to take these. And make sure that I get these really good. All the little stars. Come on. All right, there we go. And then I like this um, site because you can choose to donate if you want right here. Um, you can donate in different amounts. Um, but if you don't want to, you don't have to. I have done it before. Um, I don't like doing it for each one. But for this one, if I'm going to donate, I would much rather donate to the owner of the design. <coughs> rather than, oopsie, yeah, that didn't work out so well. So we're going to drop that simplify down and then generate again because that's not what I wanted. You just gotta play with it, see what it does. See which one you like most. 
Definitely didn't like that one. There we go. See, that one's a bit better, and I just used the simplify option. So since I really only have three colors, green, black, and white, I'm going to drop this down to three, generate it again, so that it doesn't have all those extra pieces. And for some reason, it's putting green up here. Ah! That's not what I wanted. Oh, derp. See, yeah, you gotta play with it just a little bit, but it's way easier than trying to do it in design space. I mean, it got all these whites. Oh, see? No, I want this to be white. There we go. Why does it have it as a green color? That's weird. I don't want it as green. I don't want that as gray either. Bah! Stop being a pain in my butt. Let's see what that does. There we go. It's a little better. I'll take it. All right, so download the SVG here, and then you're going to go over to Design Space here. You're going to select Upload, and as I said, sometimes it can be quite finicky, but you can always adjust it when you get over to Design Space. So you're going to go to your Downloads, you're going to hit Open, and there it is. Leaky. Cauldron, like so. You're gonna upload it, insert it, and now it automatically gives you this outline. And I'm not a huge fan of it, so I just ungroup and delete it. And voila, there you go. You have an SVG with two layers. Just a lack of so. And you can choose to have, you can contour this middle part out if you want, or you can leave it and give it a little extra flare. I kind of like the extra flare. But there you go. See, I got my two colors. I was able to do whatever I want. I can change the colors if I want. I can change this to pink. I can change this to purple. I can change it to red. Change this part to whatever color I want. See? You can do whatever you want with it. SVG for free. PNG to SVG for free. So uh, that's really all I got for you. Other than if you have not subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and do so. Lots more um, nifty fun tutorials for you coming up. Um, as always, I know you enjoyed this because it's something that everyone uses using Cricut um, Design Space and or even Silhouette. Um, so and then everything that I do is for you guys. So if you have an idea or if you need me to show you something, just let me know and I'll get it done for you. All right. So subscribe, like, give me a thumbs up, hit the alert, all that good stuff. And until next time, we'll see you later, guys. Bye bye.